Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another memory spread for you guys and it's for the week of May 6th through May 12th. And for those of you who are new to my channel, um, I use my Erin Condren planner for like memory planning or journaling instead of planning ahead. So I go back after the week is already done and I just like fill in what's happened in my life just as a way to document like, you know, what I've been doing and things like that. So I really enjoyed this process. It's um, really reflective for me and I get to kind of relive those memories um, so for this week, from what I remember, it was a pretty good week. Um, it was teacher appreciation week at my school, so we definitely got a lot of goodies for that. And then uh, Sunday was Mother's Day, so I have just a really gorgeous kit that I wanted to use specifically for this week. And this is from the shop Hello Petite Paper, which is one of my favorites. Her kits are always super gorgeous, and this one is called Oh Dear. As soon as I saw it in her on her Instagram, I knew I had to go purchase right away. I didn't even give it a second thought um, because it's just so pretty and pretty much has like all the elements that I love between the florals and the wood pattern, the string lights and this adorable animal I mean that just like totally seals the deal and so yeah here we have the eight full boxes we've got eight full box checklists here and they all have kind of different colors and patterns here we have the bottom washi which is so insanely gorgeous I'm so excited to put these together we have some washi strips and some sidebar trackers on this page, we have the little things and we have eight half boxes and they vary between like the little scallop edges and the little like gold glitter accent, which is so, so pretty. And then, okay, it's a little stuck here. On this page, we have lots of functional items. We've got these long flags. We have these um, shorter flags, some appointment labels, bill due stickers, payday, some icons, and then these like really pretty scallop heart checklists. And then the last page here has all the headers and it does come with a set of these gold glitter headers that I do want to pull into the spread because I think they're so pretty. So yeah, that's everything in this kit. It's a full kit. I think she only does full kits. I don't think she has mini sizes. It's just so incredibly gorgeous and I'm really, um, I'm really excited to dive right in. So as usual, I'm going to start by placing down my bottom washi. So if you would like to see me plan with this kit, then stay tuned. For this week, I put down both strips of the bottom washi that came in the kit because I just thought they looked so good together. Um, so yeah, I didn't pull in any Simply Gilded washi or anything like that for this spread. And then moving on, I put down the full box with the deer in the top corner because that one's my favorite. And also the kit is called Oh Deer, so I felt like that's like the theme of the kit. I used a flag in the kit to cover up the flag in my Erin Condren planner. And then I found these really pretty foiled um, date covers from Paper Blush Bar that I decided to use. And the date dots I put down are from Simply Watercolor Co. And it's so funny because I have like four sets of those date covers, but I cannot, I was not able to find a single 10. So it looks like I had used all of the 10s already. And so that's why you see me using a heart on the 10th instead of um, the actual number, but that worked out. So it was totally fine. And then moving to the rest of my sidebar, I put down a glitter header from the kit with the habit tracker to track my working out. I then put down this flag with a six heart checklist from the kit um, to mark my happy moments. And I also pulled in a gold foiled heart from Clever Gal Crafts. To track my dinners, I put down another flag from the kit and used the Monday through Sunday tracker. Um, there was only one, which is why I had to use a heart checklist for the other list. And I also pulled in a utensil sticker that was from the kit. Then moving to Monday, I first started by putting down a This Week header at the top, and then I used a half box with a gold foiled heart from Clever Gal Crafts um, to mark that this whole week was Teacher Appreciations Week, like I had mentioned earlier, so that's why I thought that This Week header would be appropriate. Um, then continuing with the day, I put down a morning coffee gold foiled sticker from Randy.Plans to mark that I had gotten coffee that morning, and the little coffee sticker is from Sweet Ava's Paper. I put down a quarter box with a bow paperclip sticker from Sticky Fingers Co. to mark that I had a meeting that morning. And then I moved to the bottom really quick because I knew I wanted the full box at the bottom. And I put down a strip of the glitter header above that. In the remaining space in the middle, I pulled in a little things first to mark that I had done some grocery shopping before I went home for the day. And then for some reason, I decided to turn around the full box. I think it's because um, that little strip of wood pattern didn't really go well with like the gold glitter on top of it, or at least that's what I thought. And so I just turned it around and then I moved back to the middle section again. I first put down the shoe sticker from K Stickers Co. to mark that I did a workout. And then I used another little things with a gold foil TV sticker from Magic Prints Co to mark that we watched street food on Netflix that night. At the end of the night, I did do some filming. So um, to mark that, I used this really gorgeous planner sticker from my newest addiction and also pulled in a gold foiled film sticker from Magic Prince Co. as well. 
On Tuesday, the first thing I put down was the glitter header at the top of the day. And then I pulled in this flag to mark that I had uploaded a plan with me that morning. And then um, on Tuesday, our PTA was so generous and kind. They had gotten every teacher and staff member like a customized um, individual pizza. So that was so nice and it was so good. I definitely had to mark that. Um, so I layered some washi strips together and then I pulled in a pizza sticker from Dizzy Daisy Dreams. I then put down a full box underneath that, and then I used a to-do header with a quarter box and a gold foiled paper clip sticker from Planning Like a Pro to mark a meeting that I had, and I thought that was so perfect to mark a meeting. And I had an IEP meeting that afternoon, and for those of you who are new to my channel, IEPs are meetings that we hold for students who are in special education. So to mark that, I used this really cute bow flag from Ekahui Craft Co., and I just wrote an IEP in the center. At the very bottom, I used a half box with a gold foiled um, bow sticker from White Deer Stationery to mark that we watched the finale of The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, which is like one of my new favorite TV shows. Um, so I definitely wanted to indicate that. And that was really the only thing that was going on that night. And so moving to Wednesday, I first put down a full box at the top and I got to sleep in on Wednesday, which was so exciting because we had a training that day. Um, the Sleepy Emoji is from the Coffee Monsters Co. And that Sleep In Tech sticker is from Paper and milk. I used a glitter header with a half box to mark the training that we had and we had actually um, invited a really well-known like social theorist who works with kids and everything and she's just super knowledgeable and amazing. Um, her name's Michelle Garcia Winner. I don't know if any of you guys maybe in education have heard of her but yeah she came to do a training for us which was amazing and I kind of spiced up that box with a gold foil bow from Planning Like a Pro. For our lunch break, we went and got some Wahoos, so I used a taco sticker from Plans with Finesse, and then, oh my goodness, this was so crazy, um, the presenter, who, like I kind of mentioned, is well-known in our field, um, she needed a ride to the airport, and I happened to live like pretty close by to the airport she was going to, so I totally offered to um, give her a ride, so she came with me in my car, and I got to like um, meet her and talk to her more, and she was so sweet and just so knowledgeable and had so many great um, tips and tricks and advice and things like that for me. So that was a really amazing experience. I used a shocked Coffee Monsters Co. emoji to mark that. And um, I was still like on cloud nine when I got home. Um, but anyways, I did do some quick grocery shopping before I went home. So I put that on a little things. And then initially I used a strip of washi with a shoe sticker from Dizzy Daisy Dreams to mark a workout, but I ended up um, not having space to mark what I wanted. And so I actually moved that to a different day. Instead, I pulled in a header with a sad girl from Artbox stickers to mark that I was like kind of on a high, so I thought I would try making pad thai, which is like one of my favorite foods. Um, so I had gotten all the ingredients and I was super motivated, but it turned out horrible and I was super bummed because, you know, I was just like really excited to try something out. Um, but anyways, then I moved to Thursday and initially I put down this full box um, at the bottom with a glitter header above that, but I do end up moving it so you'll see that later on. And then before continuing with the rest of Thursday, I went back to Wednesday and I switched out the little things box because I actually wanted to pull in some more gold foil. So um, that little gold foiled money icon is from Planning World. Moving back to Thursday, I started by putting down a today header at the top and then um, I decided to switch out the full box on Thursday. I ended up using that one on Friday instead and um, I think it was because there wasn't a lot going on on Thursday so I wanted to use a full box where um, I didn't need to write in it or anything. So anyways, then I moved back to the top. I put down a half box with a meeting script sticker from Hazel Sticker and a bow paper clip from um, Sticky Fingers Co. again to mark a morning meeting that I had and then I met up with a coworker to grab some coffee with her um, before our district meeting. So that little coffee sticker, I believe, is from the Coffee Monsters Co. I ended up using this full box with the heart, and it's so pretty. So I'm actually glad I used this on Thursday because it's like the center of the spread. And at the bottom, I put down a half box that was to mark date night. And above that, I used a quarter box. That one is from Shop Jessica Hearts because um, the kit actually didn't come with a whole lot of, of quarter boxes. So I did have to pull some in from my collection. And that pencil sticker is from Nikki Plus Three. I had to stay really late at work because I had to talk to my director about something after our meeting. I pulled in this uh, bow paper clip sticker from Planner Frenzy and um, at the bottom to mark date night, I used a foiled bow sticker from Clever Gal Crafts. 
I use that full box I mentioned on Friday and um, I really love that one. I think it's so pretty, especially to mark something inside it. And then um, this is when I realized I forgot to use a glitter header on Thursday and I was trying to use one every single day. So I ended up um, kind of switching up the way that I mark things and I added a gold foiled uh, paper clip sticker from Planning Like a Pro. Starting at the top of Friday, I first used a flag to mark TGIF, and I did end up having to switch that. There was just a lot of moving things around this week, so I apologize for it being such a hot mess. Um, but then I put down a coffee sticker from Fox and Pip to mark that I got my Friday coffee, and um, then I realized I wanted to put a glitter header at the top, so I did that, and then put the coffee sticker back down by using a little things. I used a half box to mark a meeting that I had, and then I pulled in this I Quit sticker from Mochi Kichi because on that day there was a student who was having a really difficult time with his behaviors and so I did have to assist with that and um, just help the staff and it ended up being like an hour and a half of like behavior intervention and um, by the end of it I was just so mentally and physically exhausted so that's kind of how I felt and then when I looked at my day I realized I didn't have enough space left to mark things I wanted so I removed the TGIF sticker and shifted everything up um, then I put down a gold foiled bow from White Deer Stationery to mark that I had a friend who came over um, to do hot pot night with us. Um, it was her first time having hot pots. So I wanted to introduce her. And then this is where I put down that workout sticker I had initially put down on Wednesday. Um, I used a quarter box from the kit with a grocery icon to mark that we went and got some groceries. And then in the full box where there's a little bit of empty space in the middle, I put down hot pot night because like I said, that's what we did. It was so much fun getting to introduce her to hot pot. She absolutely loved it. And that hot pot sticker is from um, Hazel Sticker. I decided there was like a lot of white space on this day, so I added some washi strips behind the I Quit sticker just to add some color. And then moving to the weekend, I first put down the weekend banner at the top, and then I used the full box with the wood pattern and the string lights, which is like probably one of my favorites um, on Saturday. And I first pulled in a sleep in pillow sticker from Toffee Bananas to mark that I had slept in on Saturday morning, which is always amazing, like I've said before. And then I did paint my nails so that I could film and stuff. And so that little nail polish icon is from Lemon Paper Co., which is unfortunately not open anymore. I trimmed off a bit of the full box because I didn't need the bottom part of it. And then underneath that, I put down another quarter box from Shop Jessica Hearts with a gold foiled heart from Clever Gal Crafts to mark that we went to um, a Korean festival that was going on in our city and um, they were having like performances and food. And I marked the foods that I ate with a utensil sticker. And that's also from Lemon Paper Co., which like I said, is not open, unfortunately. And when I got home, I um, took a long nap and that sleeping mask sticker is from um, what used to be be planning in mint and I believe it's bloom paper studios now I didn't plan ahead very well because we ended up doing quite a bit of stuff that night and so I really shouldn't have spent so much space on marking sleeping in and painting my nails because those are like really little things but at this point because I didn't want to like mess up that full box I just decided to leave it and so I just condensed the things that we did that night into a heart checklist I cut it down into three hearts to make it work so basically we met up with my boyfriend's family and we got some beers and dinner with them and then we went and watched a jazz concert together and because we did go to like a concert I pulled in this little treble clef sticker from plans with the Ness and then at the very bottom when we got home I watched Mamma Mia which I absolutely love so I marked that with a gold foil TV from Magic Prince Co. That was it for Saturday and now I just move on to Sunday. At the top I put down a today header with a three heart scallop checklist from the kit and that little cleaning emoji is from the Coffee Monsters Co. I then used a glitter header with the full box and it's so pretty. Um, I thought that one was perfect to use on Mother's Day. Um, because my boyfriend's parents were in town or they came into town for the concert the night before, um, we had them come over for a Mother's Day brunch so we got to celebrate um, with my boyfriend's mom which was really nice. I put that on a half box and initially I used a taco sticker from Plants with Finesse but then I ended up switching it out for a taco sticker from a Happy Blue Tree instead. I used a little things with a heart icon from Stella Bow Sticker Co. to mark that one of our friends came over. Um, he doesn't really live close to us, so it was really, really nice getting to see him. It doesn't happen very often. And then I put down a two heart checklist to mark that we just had some beers and chilled and then we went and got some dinner. And so I pulled in a beer sticker from Paper and Milk. 
that was it for my week and it was actually a really fun week slash weekend and now I'm just filling in the sidebar really quickly tracking all of my workouts my happy moments of the week and my dinners and once I'm done with that I show you the stickers that I have left in this kit which will be added to my next leftovers giveaway so yeah that is it for this week um this is my completed spread and oh my gosh you guys I am so obsessed with this which I knew I was gonna love it because like I said this kit has like all of my favorite elements between the wood pattern the florals the cute little deer the hearts and stuff like that um I just knew I would love it but it turned out so pretty and I'm so happy with it I hope you guys enjoyed this as well and if I forgot to mention anything please let me know in the comments down below I'm happy to um let you guys know where my stickers are from and things like that so yeah thank you so so much for watching as always and I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will talk to you guys next time bye